manhunt continuing right now for a convicted child sex offender who escaped from Mercy South Hospital earlier this morning. The Power of Two's Christian Ye, he's been following this all morning and he's live now in South County where authorities are uh, just meeting a little bit earlier and gives us an update on that search for a Tommy Wade Boyd is his name. Amelia, good morning to you. We are just outside of Mercy South Hospital here off Teston Ferry, not too far from I-270. The main staging area for authorities is right behind us here inside that medical building. Authorities telling us about an hour ago that local, state, and federal law officers are all involved with the search for Boyd at this hour, both in the air and on the ground. However, at this point, investigators acknowledge that there have been no sightings of Boyd since he escaped from the hospital here very early this morning. We can show you two images of 45 year old Tommy Wayne Boyd. On the left side of your screen is a surveillance image of Boyd from the morning. That's when Boyd walked out of the main entrance at the hospital here shortly before 4 a.m. The other image is Boyd's picture from the Department of Corrections. A hospital spokesperson, Joe Pelker, says Boyd was in the custody of two state corrections officers when he escaped. Pelker telling there was no physical confrontation and no one was hurt. Investigators say Boyd is currently serving a 30 year sentence for statutory sodomy at the Potomac Correctional Facility and was taken here yesterday for some sort of medical treatment. Boyd is five feet, seven inches tall, 154 pounds with balding hair and a beard. He was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt, a black jacket and orange slippers. There has been an intense search for Boyd as the morning has unfolded. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox capturing law officers searching a new home under construction on Kurth Road, not too far from Mercy South here. Law officers had a canine with them trying to find any signs of Boyd. Also earlier, law officers searching the parking lot area outside the hospital here. We captured a Missouri Highway Patrol trooper basically going car to car, looking in all of the vehicles for Boyd. Take a listen to some of what St. Louis County Police told us a little earlier about Boyd this morning. This suspect is a dangerous person, but we brought in the resources needed that if anybody sees this suspect, call 911, let us know his location, but do not approach the suspect. But I want you to know that we have brought in all the resources needed to respond immediately and effectively. We asked authorities here how this escape could have happened if Boyd was in the custody of corrections officers. County police referred us to the Department of Corrections and we are still trying to get answers from them at this hour. Investigators are urging area residents to remain vigilant and make sure their homes and garages are secured as the search continues to unfold. For now, live in South County, I'm Chris Fernier.